I'm going to be presenting a video for using the VNC feature of the 1770 series power quality analyzer. So what we're going to do here is, is we're going to start with the unit turned on. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is, is that we're going to need to go in and make some changes to the configuration. So in the corner here, we want to go ahead and tap and open up the menu here. And we'll see that we have over off to the side, there's instrument settings, communication settings, and tools. So we're going to want to go ahead and pick communication settings. Let's go ahead and do that. So communication settings. So in communication settings, we want to tap Wi-Fi access point here. So note our password here is the password that you'll use when you're connecting with your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and tap off here. And then again, we would want to make sure we turn this on. So you may already have it set to off here, which will show just a blank screen. In this case, we want to turn it on. And then we go ahead and just tap done. So the next thing we want to do is, is make sure that remote display is enabled. So we click remote display. Note your Wi-Fi access IP address will be the one that we'll be using to connect using the VNC application. Later here, we'll go through that with the phone. And so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and tap enabled here. So again, enabled is yellow in color. And we're just going to go ahead and tap done here. So now we'll see that we have remote display enabled and Wi-Fi access point is active. So what we'll want to do next is, is we're going to walk through connecting with the phone. And we'll go through those steps. Now that we've enabled remote display in the 1770 series, we're going to go ahead and connect with a phone. In this case, we'll be using an iPhone. You could also be using an Android phone. And then we want to install a VNC app. In this case, I'm using VNC Lite on the iPhone. So what we want to do is we want to go to settings. We want to go to the Wi-Fi list, pick the 1770 series. And then we're going to push in that password that we entered in um, earlier when we were looking at the communication settings screen on the meter. So we're going to go ahead and put that password setting in here. And we're going to go ahead and connect. And we'll make sure it connects to the network here. So connected to the meter. So next thing we want to do here is, is we want to go ahead and launch the VNC app. And again, this is VNC Lite. And we're going to go ahead and add another server. And go ahead and type new here. So for the IP address that we're going to put in here, what we're going to put in is we're going to put 10.237.1.1. dot one and done and then where it says mac os x sign on just turn that off so now we'll go ahead and go back and we're going to go ahead and tap just double check our settings here that looks good okay so let's go ahead and go back and then at the top of our list here we'll go to connect we're going to pick the new one we just entered you don't need to put in a password here just click ok And we want to go ahead and resize our display screen here so we can actually see all the real estate. So now we're connected to the meter. So we can do multiple things. What we'll do here is we're just going to go through and we'll initiate a recording session. So we could go to PQ meter as an example. And then we'll notice here that we have our verification screen for meter. And we have a verify phaser screen we could go to as well which will show us the phasing screen. And so on the phasing screen, we can also see here, let's go ahead and hide the toolbar at the bottom. So we can see here that we can see that we have a backwards current clamp here most likely. We'll see that on the C phase. So we could go back up to verify meter again. The verify meter will show us here that essentially under the C phase, we have a red color indicator here, a negative power indication, noting that something's not correct. 
So in this case, we could just go to auto correct down here at the bottom and we're gonna have the meter just go ahead and fix itself. So we're gonna tap auto correct and then look at the revised vector diagram and note that we're not red anymore here. And at this point, we can go ahead and hit done if we want to, just to confirm that the change took place. And we'll see that in the upper corner now we have a start indicator. So we can simply just hit start here. And then once we hit start, the tool's recording process gets started. And then what we're gonna be brought into here is, is that we're gonna be able to see a live screen here come up on the phone. So right now we're looking at a live screen. And we can see information and off to the side, we have the ability to navigate between the overview table, which is what we see here. You could also navigate to like volts, amps, and hertz if you wanted to, which just really focuses on the voltage and amperage and frequency measurements. You also have the option to go to power and look at our power parameters. We can also go to dips and swells. And we can see that there's an ongoing recording session here. And what we can do is, is that we can pick the type of display value we wanna see here. So we could do voltage plus current, we could just do the A phase if that's all we cared about as an example. And then if we have an event that occurs on the trend line, we can see there was an event that occurred here. And if we wanted to see the event, you could even go over to the events and navigate the events on the display. And we'll open up here and we'll see that we have a wave shape deviation and a dip captured in this case. If we want to, we could pick the dip here and go in to look at more information about the dip if we wanted to which could include wave shape. If we wanted to look at the wave shape information, we could see that here as well. If we wanted to look at that information, we could also go to an RMS profile. And we could also see the RMS profile as well here. And if we want to go ahead and stop the recording, we could also initiate a stop on the record session as well. So if we just tap the red icon here, we can confirm that we want to end the recording session. And if for some reason you were connected navigating the display of the meter remotely like this, and then somebody was to be at the unit directly and wanted to also control the unit, if they were to initiate control of the unit, what would happen here is, is it would close the connection and you'd have to reestablish a connection. So in this case, we notice host is closed because the keypad was activated. So we're gonna go ahead and simply just hit yes here. And we could reconnect back to the instrument again if we chose to do that. And then since we'd stopped the recording session, we're back at the main setup screen for either picking PQ meter or PQ logger. So this concludes the configuration of using an iPhone to connect to the 1770 series using the VNC application. And again, you can use any other VNC application you want. Um, Type VNC would be another VNC application that you could be using on a PC if we were connected directly to a computer as well, instead of using your phone, which is also a possibility.